All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Shizuke Say Gardens. Shizuke Say Gardens. I'm never gonna get that right, am I? I get it right one time, and I get it wrong the next time. Every every single time. Oh well. Anyway, here we are back in the zoo. Um, in this ex in this episode, I'm gonna be doing a uh, exhibit with black bucks and with uh, wild boars. Um, I thought that'd be a good idea. I know they both live in India, so it fits for the Asian theme. Um, and it kind of fits in with the water buffalo exhibit that's right next to it. And so it'll kind of be a good um, corner of the zoo that sort of fits with the theme. So and then after I move on from this, we'll get more into like the garden areas with like, you know, a lot more flowers and stuff. There's going to be a lot of koi ponds and um, things like that. A lot more um, beautification and stuff like that. This is more uh, actual zoo, you know, more traditional zoo. Some of the stuff I have planned for the next two episodes is going to be uh, fitting the theme a little bit better, I think. So I think I'll probably do a koi pond in the next episode after this one. But anyway, let's focus on what we're doing right now. So yeah, I really like the way this exhibit actually turned out. I like this barn area and I really like the foliage that I went with. It's not anything particularly different from, actually not anything really different at all from what I've been doing so far in the zoo. Although I don't know if I've used those queen palms yet. I can't remember. If I did, I used them a little bit around the uh, elephant exhibit, but I'm not even sure if I did that. But I actually like the way they looked in this exhibit, so. But uh, yeah, with a little bit of pond, little pond in the corner there, so they have water. Uh, even though I did give them the water trial, obviously. And yeah, not too much to it. Um, just wanted to make sure it was suitable for both of the species that I put in there. So, and I thought the humidifier actually looked pretty good in that area right there. The humidifier you can make look really well. Its texture is not perfect, but if you put it in the right areas, I've noticed it can look really natural. So, and just put a few benches around. Um, mostly for, to prevent the guests from complaining constantly because they seem to if they don't have a bench like every five feet which is really annoying it's not realistic um, but I'm sure you've all heard me complain about my problem with the uh, the AI in this game many times before no point in doing that again so yeah I'm just gonna go down to guest mode here and show you guys the, uh, the exhibit um, once again I went with these flower boxes uh, as the border between the fences and I think they turn out turned out pretty well they look good they're not too high but you can definitely see them up close so and then I went with this uh, what is this a uh, cable fence yeah I like it um, I think it suits this exhibit pretty well probably not gonna use it too much in the zoo though mostly going with fences that are a little bit more um, this stand out a little bit more, you know, like I'm, like these rock fences. I'm using these a lot. The low rock fence. So, and then wanted to make it look a little bit like a stable without being too, um, without going overboard, I guess. Because it's really not. It wouldn't make sense for it to be like an actual true stable. But yeah, um, so that's pretty much gonna do it for this one, guys. Um, not too much more to say on this. It's an, again, it's a pretty simple exhibit, but I like the way it turned out. I like how dense the foliage is, but, the, but still leaving areas that you can clearly see the animals. That's something I definitely was keeping in mind while building this. And like I said, in the next uh, video, I'll be doing probably doing like a garden area with some koi ponds. So look forward to that. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'm gonna see you all in the next one.